Let's cross now to Benedict Pavio in London. Uh, Benedict, what more can you tell us about this agreement? Well, I think it's being welcomed on both sides of the channel. So in the UK, here in the UK and in France. What we know about what is a revised deal, there was an existing one. Clearly, it wasn't working well and it was really the source of huge tensions between Paris and London. So this revised deal between the UK and France aiming to reduce, stop even, uh, the trafficking of migrants illegally reaching British shores from northern uh, coasts of France is that uh, the United Kingdom will pay France uh, more money than it had before, £8 million a year more. Uh, so the UK will pay France uh, £63 million now. So that's roughly €72 uh, million Euros a, a year. More money means what? Well, it means uh, more uh, drones, uh, more technological and more border force personnel. Uh, so the number of French officers uh, patrolling French northern beaches, we understand, uh, trying to stop these migrants uh, getting into uh, to boats, uh, making this perilous journey. 27 migrants, you'll remember, died just about a, a year ago in the Channel. Um, that will rise, uh, the French officers, from 200 to 300, we understand, as well as extra officers and patrols. There'll be uh, the British money will allow financing uh, of new surveillance equipment. Uh, that will be really important, the technology. So, for example, uh, many more drones and night vision equipment will be used. Also, importantly, for the first time under this revised agreement, UK police officers will be embedded uh, with their French counterparts in control rooms in France and vice versa. Uh, so, in other words, uh, French counterparts will be in British control rooms. That is a first. What also is the aim is a greater flow of real-time intelligence analysis trying to disrupt these very uh, onerous uh, systems of people smugglers making so much money on the back of human misery. But the big question, Benedict, of course, is will it be enough? Yes, uh, that is absolutely the, the, the crucial question. Um, well... Um, it can never be enough. And I think the, the real hope of the British government, this R Rishi Sunak government, is that since we've just had confirmation in the last few days uh, that uh, the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak will be meeting French President Emmanuel Macron for a much delayed, uh, it's been four years, they're supposed to happen once a year, UK-France summit in early 2023, that this deal will be improved on uh, with more money, more means, both human and technology. We don't have confirmation of that, but clearly the French government says that it has been waiting for a stable government in the United Kingdom since we've had the hiatus of Boris Johnson leaving. Uh, we knew that since early summer, then the arrival of Liz Truss, only briefly uh, prime minister for seven weeks, then this new prime minister, Rishi Sunak, for a deal to be signed. That was done today in Paris by the UK Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, and her French counterpart, Gérald Darmanin. Uh, we know that the numbers here are very, very bad. Um, MPs uh, were hearing only a, a few weeks ago that uh, only 4% of asylum claims by migrants who crossed the English Channel in 2021 uh, had been processed. That means 96% were not. Uh, the latest government figures of the year to the end of June 2022 show that 103,000 asylum applications were awaiting a decision. That is a huge backlog. Uh, we know that more than 40,000 migrants actually lost count this morning over over 41,000 migrants have arrived on the British shores. You've got to process these people, verify their identity, their health, uh, make sure there aren't uh, criminals, uh, then, if necessary, uh, expel them. This is all complex. It's complicated. It's, as I've just been pointing out, very time consuming. So will there be a bigger improved deal in the coming months? I think that's very much hoped this side of the channel and probably on the French side of the channel as well. Benedict Pavia reporting for us in London. Thank you.